What makes New World unique? What makes it so great? What makes it different from other MMOs? So I've been seeing this question a lot all over the place. So today I was going to run through all these reasons on what makes this game unique and what got me really excited about playing this game when it launches. So first off, we're going to start with the thing that shines the most through all of this, and it's the combat system. This is the first time I've seen an MMORPG like this attempt to do a combat system that actually involves you dodging, blocking, and actually aiming to hit your target. In most situations in past gen MMOs, you either had a tab target system or some kind of system that somewhat locks onto a character that you're going to be like pointing at regardless of whether or not they are hiding behind a cover if you shot at them usually the bullet will like seek them out and like find them even if they're behind a wall they will still get hit in new world that's not the case if you actually miss your target you're going to miss your target so you can have a situation where you'll shoot somebody and if they jump into cover at the last second you're just going to hit the cover and you're not going to hit the actual person. So this is the thing that really makes the, the combat system shine. The only game that comes close to even having the scale of an MMO like this and having a good combat system is Planet Side 2. So it's really nice to see uh, MMORPG now attempting to do this kind of really in-depth combat system in their game. The next thing is the sandbox elements. And this is the, the biggest thing that I really, really enjoyed about New World, especially since uh, a few months ago, the last MMO that I played seriously was Black Desert Online. And I spent a lot of time in that game doing a lot of the life skilling. So I was out there gathering materials, getting into crafting, doing a lot of the imperial crafting stuff, like turning in stuff to the vendor to make some money. You know, there was a lot of different things you could do in that game. And you can pretty much start from level one and immediately just start going into life skilling if you wanted to. New World has that same kind of approach. While it still takes you a second to get through the main little tutorial starting part, after that initial part, you can do whatever the hell you want. So if you wanna just go around and start chopping some trees and stuff, then you can go ahead and do that. And that's the, the coolest part about this game is that it doesn't limit you in the way you want to play. You can literally play the game however you want to play. Another thing is the survival feel to the crafting system. Basically, they made it so that when you cook foods and, and you eat them, it gives you buffs towards like your stats. And, and they're pretty major buffs. So it's really encouraged to want to make the best kind of foods or to maintain the amount of foods that you have so that you can keep these buffs going. Also, the ability to basically just craft like a campfire and then just start crafting from there is really cool because it adds that whole extra element of feeling like a survival game without it actually being a hardcore survival experience like Conan Exiles, for example, where you lose all your loot when you die. You know, a lot of people don't really care for that. So it's really nice to see like the survival light elements in an MMO, but without being overbearing, like you don't need to do these things, but it's cool to do it. And it is, it's encouraging at the same time. And me, typically, I don't like crafting. I, I avoid it like a plague. But in this game, I was super invested into wanting to craft more things. So this game is definitely doing something right. Next is the freeform character building. Basically, you can have one character and be all the classes with that one character. And all you got to do is just basically swap your gear, swap your stats, and also just swap the weapon type and boom, you can be whatever you want to be. So if, for example, I wanted to make a tank build and I wanted to be only a tank, if for any reason, maybe an hour later, I wanted to just change it up and become a healer, I can just switch my stats around and boom, I'm a healer now. You could even make hybrid builds, which is something I plan on doing a lot of. Like, for example, during the beta, I made a tank and healer at the same time. So basically, I divided my stats to the point where I was doing good enough healing while also doing good enough tanking at the same time. So I was basically a healer and a tank. So at that point, I could have just brought in a bunch of DPS to join my dungeon group and I could be the main support of the entire team. And that's the coolest thing about it is that you can make builds like that. Even DPS can can make healer DPS builds that could help support 
the healing side of things on top of doing all the DPS that they want, you know? So it really adds that extra value of having the kind of fun you want to have instead of being forced to roll outs all the time. Because it gets really annoying to have to, like, make a healer class. And then you have to level it up from 1 to 80 or something. And then you, then you make a tank class and you level it up from 1 to 80. That's very, very time consuming. But in New World, it's not going to have that problem. The only restriction is leveling up the actual weapons, which honestly doesn't take a whole lot of time. So it makes it really, really awesome to, to make really diverse builds. And I'm super excited about this. New World has a player driven economy. So that means there's no vendors. There's no shops to sell your stuff to. It's literally trading among other players. So you're going to be going on the auction house. You're going to be selling your stuff on there. If you're full on loot, you could either leave it in your storage or you can try to offload it by selling it. So it adds that that extra value of being a part of a community and feeling like the, the people that are playing the game have an impact on how the market goes. So this has me very excited. And this is the main thing that's going to be driving a lot of my gameplay is wanting to go out, finding good farming spots to pick up certain types of materials. Let's say if I find like random plant that's really hard to find or, or really hard to, to come by and finding a good spot to grind them out, taking that, selling it on the auction house, making some really good money, buying the best gear on the market through that money that I made from selling those things, that's the fun for me. This is the thing that I really enjoyed a lot when I was playing Black Desert Online. So I'm really looking forward to this part in New World. The graphics and the sound design are very, very well made, especially the sound effects. It's so insane to actually listen to it with headphones and hearing the sound of like banging on a rock to mine or like chopping a tree down and hearing the the tree like breaking as it falls to the ground. It's so insane the amount of sound detail that they put in this. I have never seen a game with this much attention to detail with that. Also, the graphics are top notch, looks beautiful. I know a lot of people are really worried about the 3090s breaking or like, you know, it frying your graphics card and they fixed that. So that's not even a problem anymore. There was very specific types of 3090s that were going through this and the companies themselves were actually acknowledging this and even refunding in some cases. So that's all some bullshit. If people keep telling you that, don't even listen. It's all old news. I was playing with the 2070 Super the entire beta for nearly 90 hours and never had any issues. Another thing is PVP. The coolest thing about the PVP in this game is that you can flag on and off whenever you want. So if you decided you never wanted to PVP ever in the game, you could go ahead and totally do that. If you want to have like awesome fights in the middle of the world, then you could just flag yourself for PVP and go at it. The coolest thing, too, is that they also have the PvP battleground type stuff. So there's always events happening where there's actual factions that are taking over certain towns and they will have a war against the other faction. It's really cool to see that happening because you can actually see it happening live when you go to those spots that are actually going through that. So it's super cool to see that. Also, the massive potential with more PvP events that could be happening in the future. Hopefully, they add in some kind of arena stuff. Hopefully, they add in like actual like zones dedicated to PvP. That would be really cool with better rewards because right now, there really isn't much rewarding gameplay with the PvP, but hopefully in the future, we'll start to see more stuff popping up. So this is what has me excited for the future of New World. So those are the main reasons why I think New World is unique over other MMOs that are out right now. <clears throat> other than those reasons that I explained, pretty much everything else is the generic typical stuff you would expect in an MMO. Things like doing dungeons, grinding for gear, doing raiding, whatever, PvP. You're going to get all the typical stuff that you are used to in an MMO. But then you're also going to have the elements that really shine, like the combat system and also the life skilling sandbox feel to it. Another question that I've seen a lot was like, oh, why would you play this when Black Desert Online exist? Well, the main reason why is because one, it's not a Korean game. <laughs> Two, it 
probably won't have as much pay to win stuff right away in it. So hopefully they don't go the the route of trying to make some crazy RNG stuff because that's the biggest problem with Black Desert Online is having to deal with if you wanted to be a crafter yourself and tried to get like pen on a weapon or something, it will take you forever to get pen if you are if you are a free to play player. Once you start swiping your credit card, you can speed up that process significantly. And that's where pay to win comes in. With New World, right now we haven't seen anything yet, but hopefully they don't go that route of trying to make it super grindy to upgrade gear or super hard to obtain like some of the best items in the game. Because if they make it too hard, then it can land up steering towards adding things into the cash shop to make it less grindy, you know? So we'll see how that goes in the future. Don't want to jump the gun on that. I will eventually make a video talking about the cash shop and, you know, the effects of it and what's happening and all that. But so far, it seems like it's okay. There's not going to be any big issues like that yet. But anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a thumbs up if you liked the video. Thumbs down if you didn't. I can't wait for New World. I'm excited. Hopefully going to come out this month now. We'll see. <laughs> but anyways, have a good one and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later, guys.